back, my friends. It is early morning, 6.49 a.m. on Tuesday, 11-12-2019. And we have had another celestial event take place last night. Uh, this was over Missouri, actually. We were looking at my video from yesterday where we talked about that meteor sighting that happened over the east coast of the United States with over 33 people reporting it, some saying it was the brightest they ever saw. Uh, we also spoke about meteor passing between the Earth and Sun for the first time in the last 13 years. But last night, guys, in Missouri, this is Central Time. This is Dutch Census Channel, uh, Michael Janet, Janich, sorry, um, he actually captured this on his webcams. Now, you could read right here. He says, unlimited media use certainly allowed. So um, I'm sure he's allowing everyone to use this video. He's posted it on Twitter. He did not catch the actual meteor itself, but look at this thing light the sky up. Um, and in two different spots here, he shows two different cameras. So we're going to go to 47 seconds here. And I'm just going to play this video for you and just watch how this night sky turns into day. Um, due to this meteor. This thing actually exploded over the sky. Here it comes right about now. Check that out. Turns into daytime for a good four or five seconds and then again at 157 he shows another camera. Very crazy videos here. There's also videos on the American Meteor website already. Many people saw this, guys. You're going to see in the center of the country during Central Time. This was 8.54 p.m. Central Time on Monday. Check that out. We'll play that one again. That one was really cool. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I just woke up. Look at that. It just turns into day. You see the shadow rip across the side of, uh, of that shed or whatever he has there in his yard. But uh, thank you very much, Dutch Sense, for allowing us to use this video um, he posted this last night, so uh, definitely go check out his video, listen to what he has to say about it. Uh, he's very knowledgeable in this type of stuff. But once again, guys, this was the event from yesterday, or uh, basically last night into yesterday, what we talked about the East Coast sighting. Came all the way down to North Carolina. Some people saying it was the brightest one they've ever seen. Finally got a visual of it. This is just a snapshot. It looks like an exposure uh or maybe a snapshot from a camera video of that meteor from two nights ago. So you can see here 11-11. Um, this was at 040 um, uh, That would be military time, 2019-11-11. That was yesterday. But now check this event out. This is the one over Missouri that Dutch Sense posted. And we have a couple videos here that I want to show you that are now public information. We could show you these videos no problem. But uh, you can see here all these people witnessed it. Um, a lot of people on Twitter saying that this thing uh, exploded after um, it had, you know, crossed the sky. Um, I don't know anything about it touching the ground, being a meteorite or anything like that. I'm sure they're looking, being that this was a pretty large event. But um, this was seen by over, on this website, well over 90 people. You can see just all mostly in Missouri and then down the center of the country. So check out a couple of these videos. We're going to watch these. This one is uh, credit to Joe P., who uploaded onto American Meteor Society. Check this one out. We'll play this one first. Some of them just capture the light, and some actually capture the actual meteor in the sky. This one captures the light of it, just like we showed you from Dutch Census Channel. Wait for it. You can see a guy standing outside right there. This is a very interesting video. Check this out. You're going to see this thing streak across the sky right down the middle here. Look at that thing. And then apparently what happened after that, look at that streak at the end. we got to look at that again. We'll go full screen. Sorry about that. Here we go. Check that out. Now that is a meteor sighting right there. That thing is streaking right across the sky. And then apparently there was an, a large sonic boom afterwards, which like shook the area. Um, you could see that in Dutch Sense's video. Once again, I'll link that uh, with his name and um, his uh, YouTube tag to the video. And this one, you can actually see it shoot behind the trees in this video here. Uh, this is another upload. I'm not sure who uploaded it. It's called Nest. I guess that's the name of their camera. But uh, here we go. Very interesting video. See, right up in this area. And there it goes behind the trees, straight down. 
And look at that with that flash right there. Let's check that out again. I want to check that flash out again. That's pretty interesting. Um, chances are that's not when it exploded. Um, usually it takes time. Once these things are out of sight and the, the, the light is away, that's when you get the concussion because these things are so high up in the, in the air that it's just it takes so much time for that sound to get down to earth. But apparently there was a big shake, um, and that makes it the second... A major uh, celestial event that we've seen as far as meteors. Now there is a meteor shower going on, and there is the rumor of a pretty big rock uh, that is going to pass pretty close to Earth um, in the coming days. I got a few links from a buddy of mine on Instagram. Um, in fact, I'm going to actually let's pull that up and take a look at it while I have you guys here. All right. So as you can see here, there was an article posted. Um, on, a, on the 11th, actually, this is the 11th uh, mentioning another article apparently posted by NASA, which has since been proved semi-false, is an asteroid expected to hit Earth around Christmas. Um, guys, we have 100 million tons of debris come into our Earth almost every single day in the form of shooting stars, meteors, uh, meteorites, even sometimes on, on lower scales, which are ones that touch the ground. Uh, NASA issued a warning that Earth could be hit by an asteroid around Christmas 2019. Um, highly doubtful. I don't think we're getting hit by anything um, around Christmas, but this is the uh, response to this article at first. Um, October 23rd is when the uh, actual article was released, and then it was researched by other websites. The UK tabloid Express published an article that left some readers believing they need to make Christmas plans this year uh, because Earth was in danger of being hit by a large asteroid. Now, we've had this happen almost every single year around Christmas, December 12th, that, that, that crazy day we always talk about. So um, I, I want to put in um, a little bit of info into that. And uh, let you know that there is an asteroid up there for sure, and it's this one right here. It's known as 216258-2006-WH1, and it's holiday approach towards Earth. Now, this thing is expected to pass Earth. Um, there are currently 26 near-Earth objects that are scheduled to pass by our planet within the next 60 days. Like I said, this is a common thing, but with them coming so close to Earth... Uh, that's when people start getting a little panicky. Now, this one is expected to pass Earth um, within a, a, a decent amount of, uh, of, of space. It's not, it's not going to be anything out of the realm of possibility, but it's farther away than the moon. So I don't think we have much to worry about in that regard. But I just wanted to read this to you because this was coming out the exact same day um, as the uh, meteor took place. So this article came out just a few hours before, um, what time was it, 8.54 p.m. Central Time, which would have been 9.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just before 10 o'clock p.m. is when this event took place. So just a little bit of a uh, synchronicity and coincidence there that we've seen two uh, meteor, um, captured meteors um, on American Meteor Society in the last two days. Sorry, my screen's cut off right now. I had to cut off to uh, get some of the, the ads out of there. But uh, once again, guys, uh, we've had another fireball over the state of Missouri, among other states. In fact, let me back this up, and I'll show you once again exactly where this was seen. Okay, the screen's cut off right here. Okay, good. So you can see all these people here had reported seeing this all the way down uh, from Minnesota, diagonal through the country, all the way to Oklahoma. And if you guys remember, the meteor from uh, the East Coast was coming in a direction like this. So this, is, this could be part of a shower, an ongoing shower that we have due to this bigger object. It could be a, um, a lone shower. And if you guys remember also, we mentioned an event that was taking place down in the southeast of Florida, or southeast rather, mostly in Florida. So um, something we definitely want to take a look at for those of you that study space and everything like that. We can see here we received 90 reports about a fireball seen over um, Iowa, Illinois, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, um, Nebraska, Oakland, uh, Wisconsin on Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. So they're saying that this was after midnight, but we, we do know that it was captured before then due to the time that Dutch Sense had uploaded his video, which was uh, last night or give or take about eight hours ago. Um, which would put it before midnight Eastern Standard Time at least. So it is possible it was on the 12th. But um, his videos show uh, a clear-cut meteor in the sky, lighting up the sky. And uh, 
that is what I wanted to share with you guys. So yet, like I said, another celestial event taking place two days in a row. Just take a look at these states, guys. All these states saw this thing. There is no doubt about it that it was in the sky. And then the concussion explosion. Nothing like that Russian meteor that exploded that uh, took out windows and actually injured people back in, I believe, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe 2013. I would have to look into that. But that was a major... Um, meteor strike with even a meteorite, I believe. I believe they found fragments of that thing. So um, just wanted to put that out there, guys, that this is the second day in a row that we have seen a major meteor event in the skies in the United States. Uh, will there be more? I don't know. And if there is, I will certainly tell you about it. Uh, light dusting of snow here in northeast Pennsylvania as I'm looking out my window. I was not expecting that, at least not this morning. Later on today, they said we were supposed to get snow. But um. A foot of snow in some areas of upper in Canada by uh, um, Niagara Falls. Uh, you could say Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal definitely got hit hard. Northern New York had some definite snow. Vermont finally getting the snow they need to start ski season. Uh, Maine got hit. I knew New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, those areas, and uh, lots of lake effect snow as well. Um, I know I said I would get into that yesterday, but I will get into that today for sure. But uh, these uh, these are exciting times, guys. We're, we're seeing things that not a lot of people have seen before. So I want you all to have a good morning. It is now 7.05 a.m. on Tuesday, um, November 12th, 2019. Have a great morning, guys. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.